Hello Aries, welcome to my channel. My name is Rosa and I'm here to bring you some new messages for the upcoming month of May. Do keep in mind Aries, these reads are for entertainment purposes only. So with that, just take what speaks for you and leave the rest. And if you do require a personal reading, by all means, feel free to reach out. All the details on how to connect with me and work with me will be in the show more section just below this video. Uh, feel free to follow me on other platforms, you guys. Uh, again, all those details will be in the show more section below. And uh, if you do enjoy this reading, of course, of course, feel free to like, share and subscribe here today. If you haven't already done so, I will love you forever. Make sure you grab your beverage of choice, tea, coffee, iced tea, green smoothie, cup of water, whatever it is. <laughs> Take a seat, get comfortable and let's dive on in. As you can see here, Aries, we already have uh, five cards already laid out for you. You've got the five of ones coming through. You have the four of pentacle pentacles, the ten of pentacles, the five of pentacles and the wheel of fortune. Alrighty, Aries. So let's begin over here with the five of wands. I'm feeling like there may be some competition coming in and up around you in May. There may be people around you that are fighting for your attention, or maybe this is fighting for a position at work or a job. Okay, so you may be competing for a position at work. I mean, I'm seeing these pentacles energies coming through, um, particularly the ten of pentacles, which denotes success. Okay, this is um this is a very good and favorable time for you, and even with the wheel of fortune here. So I do see upcoming success surrounding your workplace, your career, your job. Um, but the five of wands is telling you that you know you can't just sit back. May would be the time to really just fight for it. Okay. Um yeah, so I, I think, you know, fighting for something here, competing for something here. I do see competition in and around you, like I said, and I feel like more so it might be around work, your job and your career. I mean, it could be romantically speaking as well. Um, I feel here if you're fighting or competing for someone's attention here, I feel like with the five of pentacles here that it won't work out in your favor. Um, and that's because the five of wands, uh, sorry, the five of pentacles, it's like it's a needy energy. So maybe this is you. Maybe this is someone else. Maybe someone else is trying to fight for your attention, Aries, okay, in May. Okay, and they're coming across as needy because maybe you're shutting them out or you're leaving them in the cold or you're just kind of giving them the cold shoulder. But I don't feel like you're doing it on purpose. I feel like you've got other things going on in your life. Like you've got shit going on. You're too busy. And um, this person may sense that the, like the energy shift, okay? They may sense, well, all of a sudden Aries isn't really sort of um, – focused on me right now and they they because your attention is on the material world that's what I'm feeling I feel like it's more about the material world um your health your home um your finances your career your job I just feel like that's where the focus is now also to I'm like with the four of pentacles and the five of pentacles okay there's this energy coming through where you might just have to tighten up the purse strings okay um so there may be it may be all work and no play in may because work and success is looking very good here business is even looking really good here if you have your own business expect you know uh, more money to come flowing in, more clients to come in, um, more deals to come through, right? But with the Four of Pentacles here, this is really reminding you to tighten up those purse strings. This isn't a time to 
uh, spend money or splash the cash. Okay, it's a time to save. It's a time to knuckle down. And even with the five of pentacles, this is like feeling like you're not having enough or you haven't got enough. So sometimes too, the more that flows in, the more you want. And I see that coming through. It's like just you're still hungry for more. And that's why that five of pentacles is, you know, after the five of pentacles comes the will of fortune, like, which is very good fortune, mind you. This is a highly favourable month for you. This is a highly favourable month for you to save, okay? This is a highly favourable month for you to pull back on the purse strings and, and watch your bank balance increase, okay? This is increasing your finances. So this is a, May is a highly favourable time to watch your pennies grow, watch your customers flow in, okay? Watch your clientele, you know, go through the roof or watch your subscribers list um, go through the roof, um yeah even i'm getting like subscription to some kind of an email here as well there is a pulling back energy here with the four of pentacles so yeah just um watch your spending in may uh, which I, I feel that you will do i feel like at times you will want to um spend some money but there is this great message to just res resist the urge to I i'm feeling like shared resources as well coming through here so um yeah there may be this need to share resources with someone else here Moving along with the Ten of Pentacles, like I said, this is a successful uh, time, a successful month. You may see inheritances come in. If you're waiting for some kind of inheritance to come in or some good fortune to come in, I definitely see this for you in May, Aries. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Um, but this is a successful month to maybe just watch your spending, watch your health. Um, if you're trying to knuckle down and stick to some kind of a diet or regime, uh, exercise regime, I feel like, yeah, you will achieve success around that. Okay. This is also the Ten of Pentacles. I also feel like to me it's the card of belonging. So you're going to feel like you fit in uh, somewhere. You fit in somewhere. You feel like you really finally belong to that job or you, you fit in to that position or you're finally fitting into some kind of um, community group or a family or friendship group or whatever it is it's like the card of belonging i feel like i finally belong but it's also the card of monotony okay it's like okay um lifestyle like if you take a look around like you're definitely providing that kind of a lifestyle that you want you're you're definitely achieving the lifestyle of your dreams right but at the same time, there is this need to be disciplined. And that can feel quite restricting or confining in some way. So that's why I feel like after this card comes the Five of Pentacles, which is like the card of lack. So it's like, yeah, I have all this money, but I can't go and spend it. Oh, yeah, I have all this money, but I'm, I'm so tied up at my job that I can't even entertain a social life. You get my drift, Aries? It's kind of like that. Now, I do see with the Five of Pentacles, there's this rose and it's sort of leaning over and it looks like it's drooping and almost dying. So it could feel like your the romance in your relationship or or 
you know, the romance in your life is wilting away. And again, it could be because you're investing all of your time and energy into your job, into your career, that there's little to no room for love and romance and dating and socializing here. So it could feel, yeah, a little gloomy in the love department, in the relationship department. You may even feel like your partner, if you have a if you have a partner, if you're married here, which I can see this is for some of you, you could be married to your business, but if you are married here. Uh, you may feel like your person isn't giving you enough attention, affection. Um, it may just feel like there's a lack in your relationship in some way. Okay. There may be a lack of financial assistance or support coming through uh, from your partner if you have a partner here. Hmm. But like you've got the Wheel of Fortune, so it's definitely a highly favorable month for you. I mean, there's always ups and downs. Absolutely. That's just life. Life is, you know, life is now press play kind of thing. So um, with this Wheel of Fortune, it is a highly favorable month for you. But expect delays. Expect challenges. Because when I see this Wheel of Fortune, especially in this deck, um, I see all these obstacles here in the way. Okay, so yeah, things are moving forward for you. Absolutely, Aries, but also expect the unexpected. Okay, expect, you know, ups and downs. And it's also asking you to use your intuition here. Because I am seeing the owl and the owl to me speaks of perspective and intuition and wisdom. I mean, I, I'm getting the sense that maybe you've been through something like this before and you can expect to experience this again in the month of May. Okay, but this time around, uh, Spirit's asking you to this time Aries, there's no excuses. You've been down this path before. Use your wisdom, okay? Uh, take the lessons from the past and apply them here in this month, okay? Also to be wary of missed opportunities. I'm seeing because these two cards are touching each other. So beware of missed opportunities. If you're looking at this from a, if you're looking at some kind of an opportunity that's been presented to you in May as a cup half empty, if you're feeling pessimistic about this, you will definitely see this as not a good opportunity. You might go, oh yeah, no, it's not really good enough, but it could be uh, something in disguise here it could actually be a great opportunity but it's in disguise here and it's how you're viewing it it's how you're looking at it okay um, but do expect by the end of May um, some kind of window of opportunity being presented to you Okay, I do feel it here, so make sure you tie up your loose ends if you've got any loose ends. Otherwise, it probably won't be a door that you can really open at the end of May due to not tying up loose ends, due to not, you know, ticking off the to-do list. So that's all I have for you, Aries. I do hope you enjoyed this read, and until next month, I will speak to you soon.